Alright guys, so you should already know this. I posted a picture yesterday, but it is mail call time. Check out these boxes. Oh my god, I think this is the largest to date. And this is from Travis Moyer. So a huge, huge shout out to Travis. Thank you so much for sending me this box. This is also a package from Chase Shearer. This is from George Terrell. So this is going to be either a long video or a two-part episode we'll just have to see once we start digging into the contents of these unboxes but let's go ahead and get this started guys because i cannot wait to see what is in the box look at that wow this is nicely packaged jeez look at that guys this that is very genius so we got a letter Hey Mustang Hunter, here is that pink 5.0 we talked about. I couldn't just send the one, so I threw in a few more for you. Hopefully you don't have them all, but if you do, you will have some to open or customize. Thank you for your service and for all the entertaining videos. Enjoy, Chase. Awesome, man. So I cannot wait to get my hands and actually look at the pink 5.0. I've been trying to get my hands on that for a while. Cubby Hole has been looking for me. They couldn't get it and check this out guys first one up is the 2007 Shelby GT 500 check this out. It's a very nice blue. I believe I do have this one So there we go. I actually do have this one But I absolutely love these because these are the faster than ever series and these are really hard to get your hands on so I absolutely love the fact that I have a second one. So thank you so much for that. Ooh, here we go. And I do not have this color. Check this out, guys. Another color variation of the 2007 GT500. Look at this purple. Oh, that looks super clean. You got the silver stripes running on the hood, the silver hockey stripe on the side with the beautiful snake, the gold FTE wheels, and then of course, they actually did paint the heat extractors on top black so awesome another amazing variation that i do not have these are the only two color variations of this same deco with the hockey stripes so check this out guys you got the blue fte the green fte and now i have the purplish maroon one look at that oh that is nice oh my god dude you did not have to send this much Oh, and there it is, guys. The Corgi Mustang Cobra. God, I've been looking for this everywhere. It actually has the opening hatchback, the trailer hitch, the chrome lace wheels. Check this out. And then a huge 5.0 Mustang on that hood stripe right there. That looks so good. God, I've been trying to find this one. This is collector number 623. I cannot believe I finally have this one. God, that is awesome. Check it out. Originally 89 cents at Kmart. Oh, that's so sick. Oh my God, he sent some freaking awesome ones. And here we go. Look at this beautiful racing champion. 68 Ford Mustang. Look at that. Oh man, that looks good. Beautiful yellow enamel. And check out those almost ghosted lime green flames. Man, you got the lime green interior, the Goodyear Eagle tires. And you come around the front and check out that detailed engine. You got the orange block, the chrome air filter. And then you're coming around the front, you have the headlights. The grill just looks really, really good. That is a beautiful casting, man. Oh, that is so freaking sweet, man. Oh my God, all I was really wanting was this one. And my man sent in some extras that are just, oh my God, check this out. You got the Ferrari 348. Look at this, it's the hot pink with the ultra hot wheels. Look at this. Man, and I just seen the black variation at the cubby hole too. This is collector number 226. This hot pink looks really good. Man, it is very vibrant. This has been taken care of nicely. 
So you have the Speed Fleet, Speed Demons, and Action Command. Ah, check that out. Ferrari 348 with the approval of Ferrari. 1991. God, that is so freaking sweet, man. Thank you so much. And it just does not stop, guys. Check this out. We have the 2007 new model, the 69 Ford Mustang. This is beautiful. Oh, it's the same color as Ruby and this very nice Ruby metallic. You have the hash stripe on the fenders in silver running down the door. You got the chrome five spokes, chrome grill, and chrome base. Man, that is nice. Now, I do not have this color variation. I have a lot of different variations of the 69. Burnt orange, the lime green, black, yellow, the Hot Wheels race team versions, and now this one. Oh man, and check this out. We have a 1996 convertible. Oh, that is nice. Man, so this is collector number 821 in a nice white enamel and then you have the fader stripes transitioning from orange to a lighter yellow then you have a very bright red interior clear windscreen and chrome five spokes check that out you have the silver headlights and just the casting details no tampos for the rear but look at this full metal cast looks very clean yeah i definitely don't have anything like this i think the oldest one i have is this 96 first edition um and then i believe i have this final run right here so i only have five of the 96 and now i have another one to add to the collection so awesome man thank you so much this is a amazing way to package that i gotta learn from this guy Thank you so much for sending them in these protective packs um, because you know I would definitely do that anyways so thank you so much for doing that and just overall thank you for sending all the extras I was not expecting it. Next up guys we're going to be opening up George's box so let's go ahead and get this one started. Let's get this letter first. Jason, here are some Mustangs I found while cleaning up my collection. Thought you would like them. Keep up the great work on your videos. George Terrell. Let's go ahead and see what we have in here, guys. Looks like we have a loose casting right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this raw 70 Mustang right here. Is this a boss? 70 boss Mustang. Check this out. Wow, that looks so cool. Check out those Goodyear Eagles, the real riders. You got the louvers, the plastic wing, and it actually has a clear coat finish to it. Man, that is nice. I've never seen Matchbox do anything like that. That is a nice set. You guys gotta let me know which series this came out of. Was there like a raw series that Matchbox used to have? Because if they did, and they gotta bring that back. That looks so good. Next up, what do we got? We have another loose casting. Uh-oh, I see a, like a big time muscle type of casting right here. Oh man, check this out. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. You have the Shelby GT350. Look at this thing. Oh man, is this a, uh, I think this is one of those older, muscle machine casts i believe so because they had those overly exaggerated cartoon style bodies i think this is look at those huge tubbed meaty tires god that looks good oh that's going right there all right next up we have another loose casting looks like maybe a mach one or a boss i don't know i see some type of green hood stripe on here Oh man, look at this beautiful green. Oh my God, that is nice. Oh, that looks so good. Another 70. Yep, another 70 Boss 302. Check this out, guys. This green metallic looks so freaking nice. You have the white interior. They're not real riders, but they look really good on here. These chrome wheels, 
You have the tail light detail, the trunk in black with the wing, and of course the rear window louvers. You have the Boss 302 stripe running down the side as well as across the hood, which is very signature to the old Boss Mustangs. Oh man, that looks good. Here we go, back to back guys. Look at that. We have a 69 Boss, another Boss, two bosses right here <laughs> that is so freaking clean here we go here's the johnny lightning little collector coin right here the 70 boss 302 17 208 series 8 limited edition nice man nice man all right next up we have a premiere first edition Ooh, let's see what's in here oh look at this guys yellow Oh, that looks so nice. Got the yellow enamel, another 70 Boss 302, and check out those Goodyear Eagles. Man, that looks so good. Look at that taillight detail, the deck lid. You have Mustang running right there on the trunk. The boss license plate. This thing is done up very nice. I guess Matchbox has just always made solid freaking castings let's go ahead and make some more room oh those look so good god matchbox man matchbox made some freaking awesome castings these boxes are just full of some epic freaking castings look at oh my god look at this racing champions mint edition cobra jet 428 68 Mustang Cobra. Look, oh my god, man. Jesus. I thought that was clean. That is a beautiful casting. Look at that. And then he sends this one. I swear you collectors talk to each other because yesterday one box sent this silver series and then my second box was another silver series. And check this out. First box was a Racing Champions Mint. Second box was this Racing Champions. Look at this red enamel, guys. God, that looks good. This motor is actually painted blue. With the chrome air filter housing. Beautiful details. That is so freaking clean. All right, next up, what we got right here? It's a Matchbox. Ooh, look at that. This is Matchbox 100 years Ford Motor Company then and now. Look at that. 68 Mustang. That blue metallic just looks really good with that white C stripe. You have a black stripe running down just the center of the hood. And it has right there the 100 Ford Motor Company anniversary. And then right here you have the red 99. Look at that one. God, headlights done really really nice you just have the chrome basic wheels on both that is nice matchbox doesn't do stuff like this anymore and i just wish they did because look at that especially with how they do casts nowadays they would make some awesome sets like this but this is freaking sweet I did not know anything like that even existed from matchbox and oh my god Oh my man, you got the gold Cobra Jet 428. Look at that color. My God, that metallic gold. You have the blue painted block. Beautiful details, just like the other two variation. God. This is issue number 10 out of the Racing Champions Mint Edition. God, these are freaking sweet, man. So you got the red, you got the gold, you got the yellow enamel from, from Chase. And then here we go, we got another one guys, another racing champions and check this, oh my God, it's a 64 and a half. And look at that color. Oh, that is nice. That is a deep, deep ruby color. Love the gold rims on there. Look at that. You got the 289 fender badge, the Mustang running pony black interior. Detail is all done up. Oh my God, that looks good. And you have, looks like a gold motor. Now I'm not sure how racing champions does their things. Um, 
and why it's outlined in gold like that but you guys gotta let me know is this is this their chase version i'm not too sure probably isn't but that color setup looks good i only have a couple 1964 and a halfs in my collection they are the convertible 1964 and a halfs from johnny lightning and i have a larger casting 1964 and a half pace car but man god racing champions really knows how to make some <laughs> oh guys 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 look at this 66 mustang yep and it was out of muscle machine so i was i was right on my assumption i figured that was a muscle machine type of car and here we go now we have it in red enamel with the white stripes God, i think every shelby should either be white with red red and white blue and white or white and blue like those colors yeah that looks so good check this out guys Ooh, look at this johnny lightning's 68 shelby gt500 check this out another beautiful red enamel black interior God, man this is so freaking clean god man oh my god there's more look at this another johnny lightning and this is another 68 gt500 in black enamel got the white interior god that just looks super clean and i love that card art check that out you have the gsx in green and orange one of 20,000 so this is super cool another limited edition button and it says collector breakthrough limited edition number on base oh so that's number 16206 out of 20,000 nice man jeez look at that does this thing have the same nope this one doesn't have the collector number like that one so that is super cool you guys are just absolutely amazing with sending stuff like this. And check this out. I almost bought this probably a couple months ago. But look at this Boss Deco. The 1994 Boss Mustang in the Wicked SN95 chassis. Look at this. Got the headlights, fog lights. I love the black enamel with the gold Boss stripes running down the fenders. That just looks so good. I think that's very signature to the Shinoda boss. Yeah, collector number 11, one of 20,000. Johnny Lightning has always made some awesome castings, but this, this SN chassis is just beautiful. Oh, look at this. Johnny Lightning, the commemorative limited edition. And this one is, this one is a custom Mustang. Check that one out. It is a raw casting, which looks really cool. And check out that rear end. That is completely custom right there. Even the front end was changed a little bit. They added some sharper angles. Man, this is nice. What release is this? 95, so 95, 96. That is so cool. This is number 6733. The little collector button right there and check it out it actually has the opening hood the hood scoop right off to the driver's side this is a really nice custom jeez and then last but definitely not least you have the hot rod series 1964 and a half and i surprisingly actually have this one uh trevor samuda actually sent one so i have it right here but check this out, I have a second one so I can actually open this one up because this is a beautiful casting. Look at that guys. Love the color setup. The pink, purple, and silver, just very classic to the hot rod look. Man, guys. George, thank you so much, man. That is just absolutely amazing, guys. Let's go ahead and give, let's go ahead and put these down to the side because we're about to get to the biggest freaking box we have seen yet. So Chase and George sent some beautiful castings and I cannot thank you guys enough. Y'all are just absolutely amazing and my heart definitely goes out to you collectors for doing stuff like this, that is just amazing. But Travis, my man, you did not have to send a massive box like this. 
Now the picture you sent me of this box did not look this big. I thought it was like a box like that. And I was like, oh, okay, that's a, that's a pretty sweet box. I definitely appreciate it. But when I seen this on my front porch and the picture guys, just so you know, in the picture, this box was in perfect condition. So this is what the post office did. I know I saw a hole through this one. Uh, I mean, they just threw this thing around, but before it was sent, this box was actually in really good shape. So let's go ahead and open this up because, oh my God. All right, so it says, thank you for all your amazing content. Hope you like what, what I've sent. Hope you like what I've sent. What you already have, you can use these for trade bait or customs. Sent you a lot of older loose cars, along with some carded cars also. P.S. There is a surprise at the bottom. Enjoy, Travis. Oh my God, guys. Travis, thank you so much, man. That is just freaking amazing. Oh my God, guys. This is stacked. Stacked in here. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh man, here we go. We got the Volkswagen Beetle out of the Holiday Racers. It has the Valentine's Deco. And I do have this, you guys. Bubbles. And I've always wanted to wheel swap this. So this is going in a long list of cars I have set aside. And here we go, we have the Latroca, one of my favorite trucks for 2021. And I'm sure it's everyone else's favorite truck as well. Now I do have a couple of these but more the merrier. That means more customs, more different variations I can do. And then here we go. We have two of the Celicas. Check that out. Beautiful color castings. Now I need to start looking at all these because you know there's always a variation of some sort. Um, and I do actually have a couple of these, but I actually had to give a couple away. So definitely replenished the Celicas so thank you so much for that oh my god you sent so much man Ooh, here we go we got the pearl series the muscle speeder now I actually don't have anything from this set except for the 55 Chevy from old man diecast but look at that very streamlined you have the pearl white the 52 and the gold PR fives look at that all right, that is sweet. Here we go. You have the 64 Chevelle SS. Now I have this one loose, but I can actually open up another one. All right, next up, here we go. We got the Bone Shaker. Now I actually don't have this one loose at all. Look at that. You would think I would, and you would think I would have had it in my collection, which I never did pick up because I had the chase version. So awesome, man. I actually did need this one. All right, next up we have, ooh, look at that. 2018 Dodge Charger in this asphalt gray or avalanche gray. There's so many different names of this gray, but I love the fact that Dodge did this. Uh, even Hyundai and Kia. This color is just an amazing color, but check this out. Nice headlight detail, black wheels lights done up nice and I don't have this one next up we have the 70 Dodge Charger RT now I don't have this one carded anymore the loose one is in my display so I can actually have this one carded again this one's really not that common on pegs like you would think Ooh, <laughs> look at this guys the Dollar General exclusive 67 Camaro Oh, that is so freaking sweet. So I actually do have it, but now I have one that I can use as a trade piece or if someone needs it, they can trade me for it, whichever way it goes. So that is freaking sweet. Oh, here we go. We got the glow in the dark little duck and roll. I might give this to my daughter. She would actually really like this thing. That's going to be set aside for her. Um, right here, we have a Barbie dream camper. Check this out. So Big A's Diecast sent one to my daughter, which I gave to her and she actually really, really likes. So I haven't ruined it. She hasn't colored on it. So I can actually put this back into my collection because I actually did have it in my collection. I gave it to her and then, yeah, you guys already know the story of it. But And then here we go. We have the Twin Mill 3. Nice. And you guys already saw I did this one as a custom and sent it over to live or die cast and it was a champion for a while it finally got eliminated but i did not have an extra one 
and I, I actually plan on doing another custom, so that is freaking sweet. And here we go. Ooh, another Dollar General exclusive. The 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Nice, man. Look at that. Your Dollar General must have these for you to just send them like that. Let's go ahead and set the DG exclusive off to the side. Here we go. We got the green 64 Nova. Now, I do have this in my collection right over there. But you, you guys know I did a custom on a 64 Nova. So this one may or may not be a custom. It might just be loose. Ooh, here we go. I actually need this one for Grandpa Larry. He needs this. He needs this blue and green AE86. So I'll go ahead and set this off to the side for him. I cannot find this one or the black one anywhere. And those are the two color variations he needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that right over here. Here we go. You got the yellow 98 Prelude, which is one of my favorite color variations just because I love the red interior, the black hood, the white MC5s, just an awesome casting. Uh, next up, we have another black Civic. Nice, because I gave all of mine away. And these are still kind of hard to find, so thank you so much. Man, you did not have to send so many. Look at this, we have another black Civic. Nice. Just need one more and I'll have the whole Fast and the Furious little Honda Civic crew. Uh-oh. Ooh, look at that. Do I have this? Wow, check this out, guys. I don't have this one. Look at this 67 GT500 in a pearl white with the blue racing stripes. Very signature to Shelby. Look at that, guys. Chrome five-spoke wheels. You have the black interior, blue tinted glass. Nice, man. I do not have this in my entire collection. God, these bubbles, I swear. All right, so back at it. The only Shelby I have in this setup is... Man, do I not have that many 67 Shelbys? I have this one and these two. Yeah, so I have the red, I got white, but I do not have the classic 67 Shelby setup. Look at that. Oh, that is freaking sweet, man. Thank you. Next, oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I gotta set this aside for Grandpa Larry. He definitely needs those, and those are the two I needed for him. Hope you're okay with that, man, but I definitely needed to hook him up with that. Um, and here we go. We have the black Bugatti Devo. Nice, I just picked up the gray variation. Um, and I had this one loose and I actually gave it away in a package. So awesome to have another one. These are really hard to find as well. I have, let's see, the X34. I do have this one, but it's always good to have a second. Check this out. This might be a really cool Wastelands. Huh, I might edit this out because I don't want JDC to get any ideas before I do, but this would be a really cool custom for that. Next up, we have two Matchbox Mustangs in blue and black metallic, which I do have these both carded and loose. Thank you so much. Uh, ooh, Johnny, oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> the 78 Mustang Cobra II. There you go, Rapid. You cannot say anything anymore about a casting I do not have. This is my very first Mustang Cobra 2 in my entire collection guys and this is new for 2021 but look at this color beautiful purple metallic and it is out of the clue series the detective game series out of Johnny Lightning Dude, that color is just amazing look at that detail yeah that is nice Got the fun facts. Clue was devised in 1943 by Anthony E. Pratt from Birmingham, England. There you go, Rapid. There's a little fun fact for you. Oh, that is nice. Oh, man, I'm so glad to have that in the collection. And yes, I did know he was sending this, but all the other ones, no. Oh, oh yeah, guys. Look at this. The carded DG exclusive prelude. Nice, now you guys know, and a lot of you were so mad about it, but I did open up 
my preludes. I have the yellow one loose right there and the DG exclusive, but there we go, guys. I have another one, so I will not be opening up this one, so you can, you can sleep well at night. So there we go, we got the DG exclusives set aside. Ooh, there we go, we got the Mars Perseverance Rover. Nice, now I do have this one. I did pick it up because I actually really do like the Space Series. I don't know what it is about it. Um, I think it just started when I had the Tesla and all that stuff. So I have this one, the new gold Rover. This is freaking cool. He sends another one. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Thank you so much, man. Another DG Prelude right there. Oh, I can already tell I'm going to get all kinds of messages about that. And here we go, we got the blue 2020 GT500, which I do actually have a couple of these, but like I said, more the merrier, guys. More customs, more abilities to do customs. And here we go, we got the blue 300ZX twin turbo. And it's good to see it back on card because I opened up all of the variations that come out in this car. So that is nice. Next up, we got the quad rod, ooh, look at that. This is one I haven't picked up yet, but um, the customizer actually sent me a quad and I was talking to a collector yesterday about him doing a custom with this thing and the way he was describing it was pretty sweet, so nice. Might actually, uh, those wheels actually kind of fit that, it's a quad. So that, that can be forgiven having the mud wheels on there. Uh, let's see, we got the Subaru, there we go. Got this very, very dark midnight blue metallic. And this is another one I opened up loose, so now I have it carded again, so thank you so much. It's almost like you were telling me to recard all my stuff. Ooh, here we go. You got the Lamborghini Aventador Coupe in the white enamel. Now this is, I believe, the Dubai Deco, the police deco. Look at that. Now there are two card variations and two releases of this. Um, this is the logo series and then there's one where it's actually the missing logo So there's no Hot Wheels. It's just blank um, The police lights are on they have like warnings saying like we need to find the logo But they're the same exact casting it's just card art differences So I would really like to find those. I don't think they've even hit the states but This is another cool one. I actually do have this one, but a second one is always good. Here we go We got the yellow bone shaker nice always good for customs i do have a couple of these Ooh, we got a zamac there we go this is 2021's corvette grand sport zamac this makes number two so thank you so much like i said zamacs have not even hit arizona and i don't even know why next up we got the diora 2 nice man look at that the treasure hunt diora nice so I've given most of mine away. I've found like two, three or four of them and I've given them away. So I will definitely replenish my uh, collection of these in case I need to do trades. Uh, ooh, look at that, another treasure hunt, the Motosaurus. Nice. This is, uh, I think this would be my third one, surprisingly. I know you guys are surprised that I actually collected the Motosaurus, but yes, this is my third one. Um, I think I got one of them in a package. That is nice. Here we go, we got the 35 Ford. Now I actually did open this one and I never realized until it was loose that this actually has a blue passenger door. Check that out. That is freaking sweet. So I love that they have that, but I, it's one of those hidden things that if you never open up your car, you're never gonna notice it. So I think that is a really cool little touch to the hot rod, little rat rod build. Absolutely like this casting, super cool. Ooh, look at this. Got a matchbox little boat here. We got the Coastal, is the Lake Patrol. Is that what it's called? The Sea Spy, there we go. Don't have anything like this in my collection. All right, here we go. Civic Type R with the Type R livery. Nice. Yeah, pretty much everything right here I already opened, so I just have it carded again, so that is <laughs> that is cool. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that is nice, man. I've never seen this. You got the truck series. 
It's the Holden VE Ute SSV. Look at this purple metallic. Oh man, that Falcon livery, matchbox red, white stripes. Oh, that is nice. I did get the newer or the power grab in white, which is this one. I think that is super clean. I know Rapid's gonna be in love with this truck. I mean, these are these Utes are super cool. All right, we got a Honda Civic Si, nice, the blue one. And I only had one and I opened it, so another one is always good. Ooh, he threw two, so awesome, man, thank you. Here we go, got some Matchbox ones. Look at this, MBX 4x4. Ooh, that is tough looking. Love that green chassis, that just looks really good. Next up, we have the Dodge D200 in blue. Now I do have this one right here in black and never did get the blue variation. So awesome, man, thank you. Look at that. Massive lift kit, I love this big body, full size four door truck. This thing is just massive. Look at that. God, that'd be a truck to have right there. Here we go, we got the Sylvia S13 with the K&W Deco in blue. Now I do have this one, gotta be right here. Oh, there it is. There it is right there. So I got the silver and the blue. Man, I thought I was like losing my mind. Next up we have, <laughs> yes. All right guys, we got some customs in line right here. Ooh, here we go, look at that. You have the 69 Torino Talladega. Oh, that is nice, man. Look at that blue metallic. Oh, that is deep looking. Got the black hood, Ford running across the top. Chrome five spoke wheels. This is, oh man, that's nice. Ooh, tail dragger, look at that. Oh, out of the Hot Rod Magazine. Look at this big body beast right here. You have the white enamel, the orange tinted glass. It looks like a really, really dark purple flame outlined in orange. And the gold lace wheels, look at that. Number three of four cars. Now the other one I have is out of a, I think it was the nine pack. Look at that. Oh yeah. That casting is just beautiful. Whew. That purple though. That purple is still my favorite, but this thing is super nice as well. Uh, next, ooh, look at that. Next up, look at this straight pipe. That is wicked. Look at that. This is out of a 2007 new model. This red metallic with the yellow and black flames. Look at this casting, guys. Got the chrome five spokes, but forget the wheels. Look at that motor. <laughs> That exhaust that just goes right over the roof, that would be insane. They need to just bring these cars back. Like they have some awesome hot rod castings. And oh my God, guys, it's not even over yet. Oh my God. We are at one hour of filming. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a part two. Cause look at this guys. So before we wrap up this episode guys, let's go ahead and recap this. There's so much going on. Guys, I don't know what to do. I'm like overwhelmed right now. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. And I still have loose castings galore. Oh my God. Oh, and it looks like there's his surprise at the bottom. Oh, should we open it now or should we wait? Should we open it now or should we wait? You're just gonna have to stay tuned for that because this is already an hour long of filming. So let me know your thoughts and comments below. I know you guys are probably thinking all kinds of craziness. I know I'm gonna get hit up for those DG exclusive preludes, but that is all I got guys. Like I said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up, comment down below your thoughts, and of course, stay tuned till next episode. And this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.